Hello friends, in this video I present a variant of the white mature cataract which I call the white chalky cataract associated with the solidified cortex which I removed by the facal twirl maneuver. Now this cataract is a white mature cataract, however it is not intumescent. The surgery is being performed under topical anesthesia. It is called a chalky cataract because the anterior capsule has got shriveled and uh, the anterior chamber depth is maintained, the lens is not intumescent. The capsular excess can be comfortably performed either with a 26 gauge cystotome or even with the help of a uterator forceps because there is no positive intralenticular pressure. You also see that while performing the rexus, there is no liquefied cortex that is coming out. The cortex in this particular case is not liquid but actually it is quite solidified which you will see in the end. Again, the cortical cavus hydrodissection is superfluous, you need not do it, but it can help you to unmask the underlying hardness of this nucleus. Let's move on to the phaco emulsification. 1.5 millimeters of the phaco tip is exposed with a power setting of 40%. I'm driving this tip inside the nucleus. The chop is quite easy to happen because the nucleus even though it looks hard is actually chalky and therefore with the right settings that is a vacuum of about 350 millimeters of mercury power setting of 40 and a micropulse mode it's very very easy to hold on and chop this nucleus. Now as the nucleus gets chopped you find that the central portion of the nucleus is hard the periphery of the nucleus there is something like a wreath of thickened cortex. Now this wreath of thickened cortex which is seen in the periphery is going to be quite difficult to remove because it is not liquefied, it will not get attracted and come to the center. Let's see how I manage this. So once I have created the chop, I then switch to a Sinsky hook and then I remove all the quadrants that I have created, about six in this case. So staying within the center and applying a judicious mix of FACO power and vacuum, I'm able to get the pieces to get emulsified right in the safe zone, which is in the dead center of the eye. The nucleus has been successfully emulsified and while I'm trying to remove the cortex, I find that it is solidified. So I stay in the center, I do the phaco twirl. See how I turn the phaco tip right in the center. This sets up convection currents in the anterior chamber, drives the pieces towards the phaco tip and within no time, the solidified cortex is clearly and easily removed. Now once this happens, a little bit of fragment is floated out of the eye with the help of viscoelastic. There is hardly any cortex in this case and the IOL is implanted which marks the end of the case. Thank you for your attention.